Hey everyone, welcome back. Our next guests are here to discuss the upcoming production of La Caída de Rafael Trujillo, The Downfall of Rafael Trujillo, a play that tells the story of the rise and fall of the notorious dictator Rafael Trujillo, the controversial ruler of the Dominican Republic who governed his country with an iron fist for more than 30 years. Everyone, please welcome La Caída de Rafael Trujillo playwright Carmen Rivera, producer and actor Jose Cheo Oliveras, and Actress Aneris Morales. Hello and welcome. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hi. Rina. Happy to be here. <laughs> oh, we yes. are happy to have you in person, no less. Oh my goodness. Yes. We made it through. <laughs> yes, no, it really means a lot to me when I have in-person guests because it's just a different exchange. And mm -hmm. it's just also, uh, it represents the, the, the moving forward factor of what we've all endured the, the past couple of years. And in moving forward, I know that this is something that's being revitalized but has been worked on for, what, five years, mm -hmm. Carmen? Mm -hmm. Yes, we actually opened 2014. But I had written the script, I mean, I had written the play years before. We opened 2014. We, uh, Cheo, um, Teatro um brought it back again 2015 and made it through the pandemic and we're back here again. So I'm just so happy that Cheo said yes again. <laughs> I got to tell you, I'm excited that you have... Uh, first of all, you have the longest running off-Broadway play with, with La Gringa, which we actually had bad on a couple of yes, weeks ago was, talking about yes. it. So, you know, you're, you're being spoken of thank, even even if you're you. not physically present. And um, and so it's really an honor to be in your presence. I know we've oh. known each other for very many years, but to have such presence in that capacity of writing and uphold integrity in oh, the process. Thank you for that. Thank you for saying that. That's what I always have always admired the most oh, about wow. the way you write. Thank you. Yes. And so with that being said, this isn't really a great story. So, <laughs> so I'm curious to know what kind of angle you took. You know, it, it's, um, yeah, it's not. It's, it's actually really tragic at the same time. Through tragedy, you see people's spirits triumph. So um, for me, I was actually commissioned to write this many, many years ago, and I did my graduate thesis on dictatorships in theater, focused on the dictatorship of Argentina. So when this commission came, it was sort of like all, my, the, all the lessons I've ever learned as a writer went into one piece. And um, I just started to do research on him, and I found these amazing stories, not just of the terror, but of how people survived and how... Um, the multi-dimension of a dictator. There's like a dictator. We hear all these bad things that they do, but they're also human. Right. And it's not like I want to humanize, but at the same time, I am humanizing Trujillo right. in a way because it's not like he's the guy, like, like I'm just going to be evil every day. They're not their people. Right. I mean, we, we start the show with the birthday to his mother because he loved his mother very much. So I wanted to find other aspects of Trujillo, not just... The, the the tortures, although we do, we don't shy away from that. Right. But we try to show a multi-dimensional man. I get it. Who has found himself in these circumstances and, you know, made kind of a lot of the bad decisions. At the same time, he really loved being Dominican. He really wanted um, the Dominican Republic to be this wonderful country. He wanted his people to get educated. He right. wanted So he wanted really good things for his people. The way he went about it might not have been the right, right. way to do yeah. it. Right. But the intentions were there per se. Yeah. Right. So just break, speaking of the complexities, because we have uh, the man who's playing Rafael Trujillo himself, <laughs> Jose Cheo Oliveras, who is also one of the producers. Right. Yes. And um, and based on what she just shared, I would like you to bring out, I guess, a little bit more about the multi layers that make up this character. Yeah. You know, um, I remember one of my teachers, he always said, when you want to play the bad guy, you have to concentrate in the goodness of that character. Mm -hmm. So that will definitely bring up the contrast. Right. And as Carmen said, you know, this is, this is a human person. It's a human being. I mean, it's, we are so complex. We are contradictory beings, right? That's, what, that's, what, that's human nature, contradiction. Right. So how is it that, you know, this guy who probably had good intentions, you know, end up 
going so badly, you know, on his ways. Uh, and I mean, this character is, is a dream character for any actor. So I've been a little bit selfish here, being the producer and the leading part. You know, I, it was my prerogative to say, "I'm gonna cast this one," <laughs> in a very selfish way. But uh, it, it is a, it's such a well-written play. Uh, I remember when I when I read when I started reading the play, I couldn't stop. I mean, I knew the end. You know, we all knew the end. You, you know, a little history, right? But I couldn't stop reading the play because the, the way it is reading, the dynamic of the dialogue, I mean, it's like, wow, I mean, this is amazing. So uh, I said to Carmen, Carmen, Carmen asked me to read it for a um, uh, showcase that we had for, right. a, for a Broadway producer, actually. And, and I said, listen, I would love to read the play, but if they don't take it, you know, let me know because we will love to produce it at that work. Okay, so you guys were partnered up for a while or yes? Yeah, we... we um we had we had worked before. He was in La Lupe. Ah, oh yeah, many yes. years ago. Yes, yes. Yes, in, in the musical about La Lupe. So we met and we 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 bonded. And I always wanted to work with him again. And then I was having this reading, and I just said, you know what, Joe, why don't you come and read through Rio? And it was wonderful. You, it was wonderful. I got to tell you, right? La Lupe with Sully Diaz. Yes. Yeah, and so, you know, Sully Diaz was just recently yes, here. Yeah, the wonderful. Thanks to Amneris. Yeah, she's amazing. Yes. Yes. And so and um, I'm just bringing that up because of the theater, like, family that mm -hmm. exists here in New York with Latinos. Um, and it, it, whether it's English or Spanish, like, we have our own movement going on that's been happening for very many years. And so just out of curiosity, did you cast Amneris? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. But I had to say, I had to say, I had to say that Carmen definitely, you know, uh, uh, brought, brought her up. And I said, "Oh my God, I've been dying to work with this actor." So let me, let me, let me place a call. Mm. But let me, let me go back to the point that you made about integrity in in the, in the play, about integrity in Carmen's work, because uh, when 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 those producers went back to Carmen and said, "You know, Carmen, we want a little bit of more music. We want a little bit of more this. We want to." Carmen said, you know, that is not my story. And Carmen, you know, walked away from that opportunity probably. You know, she probably would have made more money than she is making with Teatro Circulo. But she said, no, this is not my story. This is my story. I won't change it. And that's how it ended up at Teatro Circulo. So, so you know, it's, it's, a, it's a point well taken. Carmen is, it's, uh, you know, one of those uh, people that's, St stick to her work. Yes, right? she so. advocates. Yes. She advocates indirectly yes. um, in everything I, mm -hmm. I know of your work. Um, I, I remember, uh, what is it, Betty's... Betty's uh, Garage. Betty's Garage. Mm. Which, you know, she was talking about domestic violence awareness in a, in a, a way that wasn't being spoken of until later. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. However, it's just... <laughs> Uh, it's just something I've always, uh, I have the utmost admiration uh, for you uh, over is that you, and you said it though, it, as much as you don't want to admit it, you, you bring out the humanity in every single character's story. And I think it's important because I think that is where we can have uh, some, we can cultivate a, a certain level of empathy mm -hmm. towards mm -hmm. people versus animosity and mm -hmm. anger, mm -hmm. which we already have enough of that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And even though that may be the case in the people this person may have affected, it, it still doesn't mean that we, that uh, the audience should walk away carrying that, that, that energy, mm -hmm. right? It's more Absolutely. like, oh, it makes a little more sense. I haven't even seen it and I already know, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but we haven't spoken to Amnetis yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Amnetis, you know, I, I adore you. No, and, thank uh, you. you know, you're a diva novela queen de Puerto Rico. Who <laughs> 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 made her way over here. And it's just, like, still in the game. It's so... I'm <laughs> so happy to be working in this play. It's an amazing play. And when Cheo called me, I was so excited and so happy because I wanted to work with him uh, again. I knew uh, about Carmen Works because I... We did before the, the play about Julia, Julia de Burgos. De Burgos. 
and uh, it's an amazing play too. And uh, well, so I'm here, you know. And, uh, and you play his wife, right? Uh, and, uh, la yes. malvada, la malvada. She no, 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 no. Well, they are, they are perfect for each yes. other. Okay, okay. They yes. are perfect because. Yes, I am the malvada, but he is also <laughs> too, you know. So uh, I can only imagine <laughs> just looking at the both of you. Yeah. I'm going, oh wow, what well, a dynamic! Yeah. Uh -huh. But like, uh, like Chill said before, you know, you have to understand and justify your your character and and focus on on the good things, like mm -hmm. you said, you know. And uh, also, I want to say about Candido. Candido mm -hmm. is Candido Tirado, yeah, is the director. The director. Yeah, the yeah. director. Carmen he's significant doing, other. Yeah, <laughs> he's doing a great job as a director. He's looking for every details in your character, not only um, how he's gonna look the 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 la puesta. How do you mm -hmm. say that? The staging. Yeah. The staging. You know, it's he's working with the actors and the feelings and every details. Really very good work. I yeah. know, he's an actor's director. Yes. 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 <laughs> I will say yes. that. Yes, I agree with you. And it, it makes a difference. Oh, oh yes, yes, definitely. I always say that uh, no matter how good you are as an actor, you need a director. You need another person that can see everything yeah. out from you. Well, you know? the director is the it's painter. Yes. He is the master or she. Definitely. You know, the master painter. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And you guys are colors. Yeah. Because you, you can you think that you are doing <laughs> yeah. great the scene, but you are not washing yourself. Uh -huh. you know? yeah. So you need that. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So before we go, are there uh, what would be your your most empowering last words for our audience to really make it their business to go see this show? I think one of the th so empowering words. Yes. Um, a, a redemption and and catharsis and um, release of the negativity. I like that. I love it. I love it. And by the way, it, yeah. it, is, it is in Spanish with English subtext. Mm -hmm. I just want to make sure our audience knows that. So if you want to say something in Spanish, go right ahead. Uh, um, la vida, la historia de la vida, mm. the, the history of life. You, you have to know your past in order mm -hmm. to go forward. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, I'm going to go more political. Okay. I, I guess mm. that it is so important that we say this story at this moment mm. because of the uh, crisis and the rising of autocracies all over the world uh -huh. and, and our people in this country needs to know how fragile this system is mm. and and this this place is an alert it's an alert of dictatorship yes, yes. that's yes. trying to take over correct our our entire world actually yeah, yeah. Mm. it's happening everywhere yeah it is yeah well done bravo yeah. thank you congratulations i can't wait to see the show all right you guys once again carmen rivera jose Chol oliveras and Aneris Morales, they are they were just here talking about La Caída de Rafael Trujillo, uh, and uh, that's the downfall of Rafael Trujillo, which opens tonight, April 14th, and runs through April 30th with performances Fridays and Saturdays at 8 p.m. and Saturdays and Sundays at 3 p.m. And that's happening at the Chain Theater located at 312 West 36th Street between 8th and 9th Avenues. For tickets and more information, visit Teatro Circolo. Dot org.